If you've had a cough or a stuffy nose recently, you're probably a bit nervous, wondering is it COVID-19, is it a cold, or maybe even allergies? ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon talks with doctors who help us tell the difference. A lot of people are, are anxious and, and worried and want to make sure they, they rule those things out. Seasonal allergies can feel serious, but Tampa General Hospital's chief medical officer says there's more that goes into a diagnosis than symptoms, like situations. If you've been you know, quarantining and not around anybody, then that risk of COVID is still you know, fairly small and fairly minimal. The risk grows, say, if you've been in contact with a COVID-positive patient or haven't been following CDC guidelines. Typical colds usually include a cough and sore throat, and allergies can be determined by itchy or watery eyes. What Dr. Paul Nada says they're looking for, though, are symptoms of a complete system-wide response. Usually COVID symptoms typically are, are more fever, uh, cough, shortness of breath, uh, shaking chills, headache, uh, and tend to be more, uh, more rapid onset, more quick onset. And sometimes you have a loss of taste and smell as well that you don't typically see with allergies. Either way, if you seem off, contact a doctor and be cautious. For most people, and especially if they don't have any chronic medical conditions or, um, or risk factors, the recommendation is if you have an exposure, then you should self-quarantine self for 14 days. On Reliant, ABC Action News.